Howdy, howdy, everyone, and welcome back to more Evil West yogurt here. And I am excited to be, as always, because really enjoying this game. And we're in a creepy room filled with jars of heads. Not to be confused with the Christina Perry song Jar of Hearts. This is definitely not what she was singing about. So I guess, yeah, like I was saying at the end of the last episode, this is what we do with the full-on vampires that we capture. Maybe we can't actually kill them, so we keep their heads, or maybe we just do it for the interrogation purposes. Oh, it's a Tessa coil. Um, maybe a little bit of both? Not sure. Joseph Warren and great-grandfather Dick. To find the tech headquarters, he let the Brits take him captive. Would love to have seen the surprise on their faces when he incinerated those tick nests and saved their royal asses. <laughs> so are ticks slash vampires only in America? Surely that's not the case. And if you didn't pay attention to the previous episodes, we've got a fancy new z oops. Zapper. Probably zap bugs, but that's not what it's for. Money! I don't know what that's for. Upgrade. There. There, okay. Uh, why do I feel like this is. Never mind. I'm not gonna say it. question is, do I need to get out of here? Do I need to kill all these people before I get out of here? Logically, I would assume yes, but it doesn't make it so. And I'm in- oh nice, it keeps me red when I'm invulnerable. For my post-heal. I think it's five seconds of invulnerability, is what the folks said. Come on, you sons bitches! Actually, may not be. Their mothers may be very kind people. And I doubt they were canines. Ah, conveniently, the door blows open, or the way out blows open for me as soon as I kill everybody. Figured it'd be something like that. It's really a shame that we're blowing up our house slash compound headquarters. Oh, it's like, was there really nothing in there? I don't think we've had an empty chest slash box whatever yet. They may not have had much in them. That's a nice little bit of parkour there. Parkour! That's for sweet. Sweet game in! Good channel, you should check him out. Nice guy. He's on my main page, sent down at the bottom. A link to that, along with some of my other friends, if you want to check them out. And by if you want to, I mean go check them out, because they're my friends and they're good people. Rut row. Alright, know what you are, no big deal. Okay. Oh, maybe it's not without. Okay, you're not one of the. Is this not just the same things we've been fighting? Yeah, I think it is. Okay, 
Okay, so maybe they're slightly more resilient, but... Perk point! Double up 2,000 bucks. Ooh, we got all kinds of stuff. We shall see! An electric perk is available. Spend a pizza perk point to activate it. It consumes energy in return for more powerful effects and larger damage output. All right, so it wants me to pick one of these, it would seem, or is it forcing me to pick this one? Yeah. Looks like I've one of these. All right. Okay, and like the last version, it's... I just want to check. It is forcing me to go with that, so... There we go. Hold V for an area of effect attack, which consumes energy. Gather energy by dealing melee attacks and... They did not rush in as I expected them to. Yeah, I kind of wasted that a little bit. That was a waste of the explosives, but hey. Works anyway. New lore. What kind of lore? Boo hag. <laughs> I almost read that as 800 hag. <laughs> okay, boo hags. First appeared in Gullah culture and fork folklore folklore but they are no myth unlike regular sanguisuge boo hags can't grow their own skin so they hunt humans for theirs lovely some used to believe that a boo hag wearing the skin of its prey could walk among humans in broad daylight but that has been disproven as boo hags aren't civilized or smart enough to come off as believably as human well at least there's a reason not a great, like, comforting reason, but there's a reason. Energy pickups, picking up energy containers, when suddenly you feel an empty energy charge. Okay. Ah, let's walk up to them. Cool. Uh, it's all gone. Yep. Granted, that was the idea. I don't know why I, like, uppercutted the box instead of just popped it open, but... I did! And it was destroyed. That box is no more! Nice! I have a feeling we're going to be facing far more unpleasant things than what's here now. Can't shoot! So I'm going to save my energy charges for the moment. Don't need you throwing crap at me that blows up on impact. Ah! It went poorly. So much for that V stump crap. Okay, that totally didn't punch him in when it didn't like I was hoping it would. Holy shit! Yes, I did die, thank you. Alright, so I can do that better. And cool to save my loot pickup. I was losing my revolver. That was foolish. It's 
find that I take damage during the combo, because the combo gave me... Ah! The health negated the fact that I got hit. Ah! When forces collide! Name of a song. It seems like that's the name of a song. It's probably the name of a lot of songs, actually. That <laughs> was an interesting sound. It sounded like an even more deranged than normal gremlin. You got kicked in the testicles. I assume they have testicles. Don't really know. I mean, they reproduce by means of getting wet, so maybe they don't? I'm not inclined to try to find an answer to that question. Just to, to satisfy that. Is that everyone dead? Everyone dead? Everyone dead? Okay. Good. Everyone's dead. Hopefully, true dead. Oh, I thought for sure there's gonna be some lore or something up there. How do I hear all this screaming? It's interesting that that's there to jump over. Oh, I guess it won't let me walk through there. Never mind, less interesting. Nothing over here. Oh, nothing over here. Oh, okay. Okay, that's fine. Ooh, chest of money. Is there anything? See, we're, we're in our dad's office. You would think there'd be like something in here, right? I would think so. Fail on the curtains. No. That's fine. All right, I guess that's that. The fuck is this? Well, at least Edgar's still alive. <laughs> kind of assumed he'd still be alive. Slash hoped he'd still be alive. Oh hell! Get him out of here! I got this. Surprisingly, is that our dad? He's still alive. Tough old dude. Don't be cross with me, father. I couldn't leave you at the mercy of oh, the no. savages. Did you not do that, you fleshy toad? You nearly hit him. It's kind of the idea, I suspect. Hit one of you, both of you. Thanks seemingly to you, Joel. Yeah, I had hoped you would make Shit. it difficult. How's that? <laughs> I'm sure it didn't kill her or anything either. Give her something to cause on. Wow, that's creepy. Creepy as hell. Just the like this. Move, Gravener. I order you not to let me die like that. What do you think he's doing, you jackass? If it weren't for that old wound. <coughs> oh, Jesus yeah, Christ. Good job, Dad. Old son. Yeah, yeah, never get married. Now stop blabbing. You're going to be fine. I know what I'm doing. This is the key, Jesse. Don't let it out of your sight. It's all we've got. It's in your hands now. We need to stop. stop. We need to get the fuck out of here. 
We need to find a defensive position to hold us over till morning. Then we met Calico. Where is Calico? And why are we going there? The rest of it sounds like a good idea, because we're not going to outrun them. My wife could blow this in the dark. defensive position over with a wet fart. We need the higher I'm ground. Sorry for you then. And that's where the sun will hit first. Your wife sounds I'll wildly unpleasant. And we'll stand our ground up there. Though that would explain a great deal about his general demeanor. Hell yeah! Shotgun! Rentier Boomstick! A heavy hitting sawed off shotgun ideal for close quarters combat and capable of dealing damage to multiple opponents. Use it with F when not on cooldown. Forks and knives, yeah. The boom stick. Okay. Oh hell. I already have enemies here. Alright, I do not want to waste any of my boom boxes over there. Uh -huh. Right in there. On any of these scrubs. Because I have a feeling I will be encountering much worse things given the fact that they give me multiple boxes of TNT and spike cage things to punch people into. Yeah, the, that attack's a little lackluster, I have to say. It's alright, I remember... If I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken, somewhere or other it told us that uh, we could respect for free at will. Well, not at will, you have to be something or other. Missed the block. Not at that time, finally. Ooh, I need to heal. Being invulnerable is good. It's probably those pieces of shit that are killing me. Well, doing the most damage to me. Yeah, it does do good work. Just realized I have a shotgun and I'm not using it yet. Can I not shoot him down during combat? I just noticed that guy's up there and it usually means you can shoot him down and... ...get their corpses. Makes sense that they won't let you bother with it during combat. I just wanted to make sure I got it. None of the TNT is actually blowing anything away in terms of being a way to go. Over health picking up these revitalized containers temporarily doubles the maximum HP depleted. Okay. Not sure which revitalized containers it's talking about yet. I'm assuming we'll find one. Nice! Decent amount in that one. Alright, so I haven't picked up I'm assuming I haven't picked up this overhealth container. That would be that. Feels good. I'm oh, sure it would. A lot of them, I imagine. Alright, so we had enough bucks to buy a perk. Or upgrade, rather. Um, Alright, so we got that. Do we want that? Got that. I'm gonna save it for now. Not overly concerned about the midair shot. Oh, 
Well, of course they're climbing up there. What do you expect, you idiot? I mean, it may not be wildly effective, but I have it, so I may as well use it. Oh, nice! Either I had him lower on health than I thought I did, or uh, the boomstick does a lot of work. <laughs> okay, for once I agree with something Hero says. Help me instead of just telling me that uh, <laughs> I'm doing a good job. I appreciate the compliments and all, but watch out for the fat boy. Holy shit! What is that thing? Ugly. Very ugly. It's a shielded enemy. To damage and eventually break the enemy's shield, hit it with the gauntlet's punches or the boomstick. Which is significantly more effective. Alright, boomstick it is. Alternatively, the enemy's back is vulnerable to range attacks. Okay, so... What am I holding on for? Oh, shit. Since I was in vulnerable. Yes! I got that up into... Oh, hell. I need health. hundred percent do not approve of your shield regeneration. Or getting stuck there, that sucked. That definitely sucked. Come on, it's almost charged. Actually, it's a good thing that I have ads. Loot boxes, or health boxes. Maybe not. Fuck! Because the one that I had ready and I could have used to heal me got killed by the other thing exploding. Damn it. Ah, oh, well, we get it this time. Okay, stay out of the corners, Wilbur. Yes! Okay, no. And I wasn't close enough to him. Shit. Okay. Oh, he got me with that, I think. Yep, pretty certain. Oh, hey, bloody! Oh, get out of the way of the dynamite! Get out of the way of the dynamite! Oh, I'm gonna die again. Shit, shit.
skin in my teeth there, but we made it. Out of the corners. Ah! Oh, if I had just gotten another couple of punches in, it would have been in the uh, realm of... I can't be staggered and stopped. Well, if, if some bucks were candies and less, we'd all have a Merry Christmas. That's the same, right? In other news, this dude is still just as ugly. And the shield's actually a cosmetic improvement. Oh! Not what I expected you to do! That worked out pretty well, actually. Ah, he ran into the dynamite, idiot. Oh my god, he can redirect that attack mid-attack? Okay, lesson learned. Not dead yet. Yeah, let's end this. Got it. Whew, and we leveled up, and we got two thousand bucks. And we unlock some new upgrades. All right, good stuff. All good stuff. I have the power. All right. Any loot to be had around here? Trying to hide in plain or non-plain sight. No, no. Nobody hanging. Oh, I see somebody hang. Something hanging over there. Thought so. Thought I'd seen somebody hanging somewhere. Pick up all of the books. Lord, we'll take a look at all of that here in a second. Need the energy because the V attack sucks. So we won't be using that. Alright, let's see what all we got here. Lore. William Rentier. We already went through that. He's the head of the Institute. He's our dad. Served with Edgar in the Civil War. Um, the government loves him, etc., etc., etc. He created the Gauntlet and the Electric Gauntlet. Harrow, Secretary of War. Uh, Assistant Secretary of War, rather the supervision of the Rentier Institute and any national threat related to the pre-natural. pre -natural. Okay, oh, there we go. Um, upgrades. Yeah, I looked through them just to save a little bit of time. We're going to go with Fists of Steel, perform the Zapper Pool or Dash, supercharges the Gauntlet, and greatly increases the next melee punch damage. Yes. And we can get a perk. And I will look at those and be right back. Right, so I was torn between on the spot here, getting 15% chance to drop a health pickup, or bringing stuff in from farther away. I'm going to go with pick it up, so we get things from a wider arc, because that probably would have saved us a couple of times. Everybody move! Up! Up! Cover me, 
Uh, what if I don't want to cover you? Mm, what about that? And with that, I think it's a good place to end the episode because we're at 30 minutes. Looks like we're going to have more fighting to do to survive the night before we get to Calico. So as you, well, not as usual, but it can either go longer than y'all want it to go or stay, stop here and we'll pick up with more action next time, which more action is never a bad thing. Well, I guess it can be, but it's usually a good place to pick up an episode, right? Right. Agreed. Hopefully we agreed. If you didn't agree, well, tell me in the comments. Otherwise, I will see you in the next episode here very soon, probably tomorrow. And until then, take care of yourselves out there. Stay safe and healthy. Be excellent to one another. And, of course, don't engage in any form of dickery, because that won't be tolerated around these parts. Take care, everybody. See you next time.